Hi News Round, my name's Josh and I'm here in sunny Cornwall today at one of Newquay's lovely beaches to talk to you guys about why rock pooling is a great activity to come and do this summer holidays and I'm going to be giving you some top tips on just how to do it. Some of the most colourful UK wildlife can be found right here in the rock pools, from starfish to crabs to prawns to anemones. There's so much to see. A few top tips when you go rock pooling is to make sure that you don't harm any of the wildlife. So that means if you turn up any stones to have a look underneath for animals, you must make sure the stone goes back exactly how you found it. Because this could be an animal's house and we, if we move their house, they might not be able to find it again. It also means that we don't pull anything off of the rocks, any seaweeds or animals, because if they're stuck on the rocks, that's where they belong and pulling them off could hurt them. You then also need to make sure you're dressed appropriately for the weather. So if it's nice and sunny, make sure you've got lots of sun cream on like I do today. And I've also bought a bottle of water and a hat in my bag in case the sun gets a bit too much. But if it's a bit more of a cloudy day, you've got to make sure you bring a jumper and a nice raincoat so you don't get cold and wet. The most important piece of equipment you can have is a good pair of shoes. Now what you need to use is you even need to buy a pair of wetsuit boots like these or even just a pair of wellies and this just means you don't cut your feet on the sharp rocks that sometimes you have to climb over to get to the really interesting rock pools. It's also worth bringing a bucket along to the rock pools and that way if you find anything really interesting you can pick it up and pop it inside the bucket for a quick look before popping it back. My best tip for going rock pooling though is that sometimes just sitting and waiting for the rock pools to sort of get used to you and all the fish and crabs to crawl out of their holes is sometimes the best way to find things. All you've got to do is sit still and watch for everything to come crawling out the sand and out of the rocks. My favourite thing about rock pooling is just you never know what you're going to find. So this summer holidays, when you're next at the seaside, why don't you guys give rock pooling a try? That's all from me. Bye.